All right, let me ask you this. Are you guys always lagging right before you get the headshot off? Did you almost qualify for the World Cup if it weren't for ballers? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Us too. Or maybe you love watching best Fortnite strats videos just a little too much. Well, <laughs> you might just make an appearance on this list then, because today we're bringing back six type of players that you're going to run into when you play Fortnite. In this video, we're not only going to explain each type of player, but also throw in some classic pro guys analysis so you know how to deal with each one of them when you run into them. And trust me, you're going to run into them. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. So remember to check out ProGuys.com. Learn from the best, like Mongrel, Benji, Fishy, and more. So stop wasting time and start improving by clicking on the link in the description. Oh yeah, and uh, don't forget to drop a like, guys. Anyways, let's get this started. Hey, this is your guy, Keith Allen. I am so excited for this video. Make sure you connect with me on my Instagram. Been enjoying all the feedback, conversations, questions. We got a great community developing. It is amazing. Anyone with any experience in Fortnite has met one of these players. It's inevitable, like I said. But when you do, you don't want to be a deer in the headlights. Instead, we're going to show you how to counter them. Yes, no matter what kind of player you're going up against, there's always something that you can get better. So hopefully, we can help today. It wouldn't be a list without the bot. Hey, they're so common. Now, it might seem like everyone's a pro now, but sometimes you just run into that one perfect noob. Oh, and that's a great thing. You know it when you see it. Usually they're there just aimlessly walking around, maybe staring at the floor, hiding in a corner. It's not hard to spot them, but seriously, we've seen this way too many times, so don't underestimate them. Haven't we all gotten randomly lasered by someone who you just thought you could just take out with no problem? Yeah, it happens to the best. Everyone has that moment, and it sucks. I mean, sometimes when their play style is just so random, it's just hard to know what they're going to do next. Hey, they don't even know what they're doing next. Okay, so now that we made that clear, so what should you do? Good question. Well, not that much, to be honest. Just make sure you're always covered. Don't expose yourself too much, or even the worst player can get a quick headshot off. The best strategy, guys, is to do one of these that we learned from my boy, Tifu. What you've got to do is just get a little bit of high ground, then jump forward, shoot, and before you fall, place a floor below you. Most bots don't even have the reaction times to hit you, so it's an easy way to kill them without risking your HP. Ta-da! Now, <laughs> this one really gets my blood boiling. I mean, I get hot over this. Deep breath, <laughs> third partiers. Oh my goodness. You get in a good fight, right? You're really feeling it. This is your day, you're getting some kills in, everything is just going the way you want it. Now, you're really getting up there, right? So close to height and wait. What? You can't build? Then you realize it's like slow motion. Someone shot you out. And <laughs> the worst thing about it is there's nothing you can do. And you just wait for your inescapable death. Wow. It's probably the most annoying thing that can happen to you. I mean, I, I've said many times that I was never going to play again after that happened to me. So who killed you? Okay, this is the thing that really gets on my nerves. It's some guy sitting in a one by one, 170 meters away. Wow. I think I need therapy, guys. What about you? This is just the guy who refuses to fight, right? They'll wait games upon games, not even looking at other players until they find two other people fighting. Then they just start raining bullets. Don't you just hate those little 20 damage shots they hit you with? Oh my goodness. Yeah, we all do. All right, so we hate this so much, we're gonna tell you what to do. You guys ready? Okay, so if you really don't wanna get into the situation, it's all about stopping it from even happening in the first place. Okay, so let's just say it's end game, right? And there are tons of players nearby. Then just don't build up. There's no point in getting into some build fights because you're just gonna get shot down right away. Instead, hey, try to just keep low. And if you have to, you could just even jump down and try to break the one you're fighting down. But if you just happen to get caught in that situation, hey, then you just need to react right away. And as soon as you hear shots your way, start water falling down. If you start doing that right away, hey, you're not gonna die from fall damage every time. Also, if you have a flint lock, then you're in luck. Just pull that out, and right before you hit the ground, take an unscoped shot at the ground. Make sure not to do it too early because you can still take fall damage if you bounce too high. And if you're really a daredevil, you can try this. Although it's not something to rely on, it's just a last resort kind of thing. Once you're already broken and falling, whip out a launch pad and start spamming the place trap button. If you're lucky, you'll place and hit the launch pad and bounce off of it before hitting the ground. Only thing is, it's not easy though, so please don't depend on it and not do it right and then get mad at me, okay? Please, I love you guys. The lag, the ping, the ballers, the bugs, the mouse pad, the brute. It's all their fault. Oh, wait, forget the last one. You know what? That's actually a valid excuse. Anyways, this person is always making excuses. Do you know them? Do you know that person? Whenever they die, it's never their fault. Yeah, the game does have some issues. I can admit that, but everyone just has to deal with them. 
Seriously, guys, sometimes this person just needs to know that. All right. So if you know someone that is always making excuses, send them a message right now and say you need to watch this video immediately. All right. So <laughs> think about it. Even the best pros have to just deal with stuff, right? OK, so for example, do you think Booga has never lagged before? Yeah, he sure has. But he knows how to handle it, right? In fact, that's basically a skill in its own right. Being able to overcome bugs and problems with the game. OK, so now <laughs> we've probably all been guilty of doing this, or at least I have. Am I the only one that's ever made excuses? I'm sure many of you are out there. Come on, admit it with me. Come on. So maybe I shouldn't be the one talking, but even pros make excuses, too. Oh, sh to be honest, it was really bad. Both the practice games, I killed him, like, easy. But how the World Cup was set up, like, all right, so, like, it's loud as And you can, like, clearly, like, they try, they have, like, noise canceling headphones, but, like, you can, uh, it's so loud that you can hear, like, the announcers and shit. And, like, I'm early game at the block, and, like, I'm getting kitted, like, way... Like I'm laying on the gold chest, so obviously like I have better loot than this guy. So this guy lands at the block. Okay, we're both looting up. The announcers are blasting them like Tifu at the block, full shield, a scar, a combat shotgun, this and that. And you all you see is the the other kid hitting the wall, and then him just turn around and leave. Like he heard it. All he did was just be like middle of like hitting a wall. The kid just fucking leaves, leaves the block and dips. This guy always has a story to tell, right? And it's always something crazy that he did just a few games before you join. It's always convenient that way, right? Always convenient. But then you join and, well, they're nothing special. Okay, have you ever heard this? Dude, I swear, literally two games ago, I got in a game with Ninja, Tifu, Mongrel, and Booga, and I killed them all. Oh, and then you ask, can I see the clip? And then they go, oh yeah, I'll get that to you. And then you never hear back from them. Come on, bro, let's, let's be real. Okay, maybe it's not that extreme, but almost. I've definitely heard the, I almost qualified for the World Cup, but something really stupid happened and I died one place before more than a few times. The thing is, it never really happened. Whenever you ask for proof, <laughs> they swear on it and you never see a thing. Okay, so the game is tense, right? 298 points, so close to 300, you're almost there. You're sitting in the box, just trying to survive until the top 25, then footsteps, closer, closer, and then bam. Before you know it, there goes your wall, replaced, great. Quick, edit yourself under the stair. Boom, stair replaced, edited, and dead, all within seconds. This, ladies and gentlemen, sounds like the legend. The guy who is just so good, it's literally incomprehensible. He's worlds better than anyone in the server and qualified for the World Cup championships 15 out of 10 times. Yeah, only he could do that. They're just better than you, and there's just nothing you could do about it. Well, except for pro guys, hey. Hey, uh, does anyone know who Kawhi Leonard is? If you don't, he's a professional basketball player for the team that won the NBA championship, and now he plays for the team I absolutely hate. Sorry, that's another subject for another day. He kind of carried the entire team in the championship. He's a lot like the legend, maybe, minus the laugh, though. And what would you like people to know about you? Uh, I'm a fun guy. Uh, obviously, I love the game of basketball. Um, I mean, it's just more question you have to ask me um, in order for me to tell you about myself. I just can't give you a whole spiel. I don't even know where you're sitting at. But. <laughs> that gets me every time. Quiet, humble, but when the time comes, dude is talented. Ironically, just like the bot, when you see them, you just know. Their movements look so fluid and clean and easy than anyone else on the map. And the weirdest thing is, the saddest thing is, they probably play half as much as you do. How are they just so good? All right, so they sound undefendable, right? But there's actually a lot you can do to counter them. That's the good news, guys. The best thing that you can do is to constantly be playing against them, right? If you're always playing against people who are better than you, what's gonna happen naturally is you're gonna start getting better. That's just how it is. If you're having a hard time finding them, okay, I recommend jumping into a Zone War server. There's normally one or two really good players in there and you could just get used to playing against them in a realistic scenario. Although, if the time comes when you actually are going to have to play against them in an actual game, well, this is what you should do. Number one, ladies and gentlemen, is trying to stay away. Try to stay away. Obviously, they can't kill you if they can't see you. So just try to lay low and get out of their area as soon as you can. Now, I don't recommend doing this unless it's for a tournament because that's where you're going to get the practice. 
Number two, <laughs> slow it down guys, slow it down. They're gonna try to freak you out with their complex builds, but just don't overthink it. Their biggest weakness is overconfidence, right? So just wait for them to go for an open shot. That's when you need to hit them. Just play the low ground and you'll probably be able to hit them for quite a bit. In this clip, you can see Ninja getting way too cocky <laughs> and watch him, he gets outplayed. It's, we're about to find out. The heck is it like? Why are my bullets not hurting that? I got uh, a different team, bro, on the right. Oh no, it's the same guy. Space man made it on the hill. Frick, dude, I tunneled the dude on the roof or the top of the mountain. Oh, oh. In there, relatable. I'm looking at it. all the advantage. Of that, boy. Huh. His teammate. Oh, that's a different nice squad. Nice shot. Wow, oh, dude. Oh wow. I slept on him for one That's second, right. man. He jumping owned me, man. Okay, so you could just see he was going in way too confidently, and he ended up dying because he wasn't taking smart shots. This person spends a minimum of four hours a day watching videos on the best Fortnite strats, three hours in creative edit training, two and one V1s, and about 45 minutes in game. They'll brag how quick their 90s are, but haven't won a game in two seasons. Do you know them? I do. They might know some sneaky build techniques, right? But they still have trouble with the fundamentals. If this is you, don't worry, it's okay. Please just spend more time in game. Spending some time in creative is great for a warm up, right? But just play more arena. And watching YouTube videos helps, but applying them is the key, guys. Maybe even take a second to rewatch the gameplay and figure out what you did wrong, which is great. It might seem like a waste of time, but then why are the pros doing it? Because it works, it really does. Also, watching the pros analyze their gameplay helps too. You can get an insight into how they think about the game, right? And maybe even apply it to your own game. Once again, just because you fit one of these descriptions, hey, don't worry guys, it's cool, we're all growing. We all get stuck in a rut, right? And we find ourselves relying on the gameplay that worked in the past, but it's getting us killed now. So we gotta evolve, we gotta improvise, we gotta learn to get out of our shell. And I'm telling you, you're gonna be able to get better and better. If your game is feeling stale, hey, change some things up. Try this, let yourself die, okay, whatever. It hurts, but that which already killed you now makes you stronger. If you're really stuck in a rut, you can also check out our new coaching service on Pro Guides. They'll pinpoint where you're struggling, right? And they're gonna help you improve. You really can learn from the best now. Finally, this post is about looking at the parts of your game you just really hate and you just wanna change. You may feel like a failure, but it's only through failure that we get better, guys. When you fall down, you gotta get back up. Hey, stop being discouraged, okay? You can do it. We all have those growing pains when we're trying to get better at anything in life. No one had ever failed more than Ninja. I mean, he even lost to me. Okay, I'm only joking. <laughs> but guys, you can do this, man. Every winner accepts failure at the cost of getting better. Next time, hey, we're gonna look at some of the pros' epic failures, all right, and how overcoming them made them even more epic players. And as always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more videos just like this. It really does help us out. And once again, this is your guy, your friend, Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Instagram. We got more stuff coming out from Pro Guys. Thank <laughs> you.